it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you an updated room tour. I hope you enjoy. Uh, we're going to start with the front of my door. Even though it's not Christmas anymore, my door is still decorated so it is. I've got this little saying is believing Polar Express quote thing with some Polar Express tickets and also this drawing I did of the door knocker in a Christmas carol. But let's ignore that and come on inside. So first of all, on the back of my door, I just have my dressing gown and my Victorian nightgown hanging. And then on this wall, I absolutely love this. I've um, sellotaped some gypsophilia. Uh, this is dried, it's literally been in my room for a year and I love how it looks. And underneath I've hung up my favourite Polaroids and underneath I've got this nice little paper star banner. Then on this side I've got my main Polaroid wall so I just stick up my favourite Polaroids here and I plan on filling this up a bit more. And then down here I've got my um, picnic basket which I got for Christmas and I'm obsessed with and inside I actually keep lots of snacks. My favourite is graham crackers. So then uh, we've got my bedside table. I've got this lovely hanging Kath Kidston lamp, which I love. It's like hangs all the way down from the, from the rafters. This is great because I can turn it on and off when I'm in bed. It's great for reading. Sorry, I'm going to cut that. That was just so unnecessary to tell. <laughs> so then on the side here, I have my nighttime essentials. And I also have this Mayleg mouse. Mum and I both got these for Christmas. Very cute, it's a little Christmas mouse and a matchbox. And yes, I'm 20, and yes, I have one of these on my bedside table, but it's so cute. How can you look at that and not think it's cute? So then in the top drawer, this is where I keep all of my random things. So I've got all my bookmark collection back here, and this one is my favorite. It's one that I made. In this box here at the back, I keep handkerchiefs, which is fun. Here I've got all of my diaries, so I've kept a diary since I was nine and I just keep them there. The bottom one's quite messy, but this is where I keep all of my wires, basically. Now let's go on to the wardrobe. So this wardrobe was actually made by a friend of my dad's, which is quite cool. Okay, so first door. Oh, on the inside I put all of my, uh, well, some of my favourite photos of some of my favourite people. I love this photo of Jade and I. Actually in the compartments, in this one I've got anything which is kind of random. This is what it looks like inside. This is like socks and underwear and on top I keep all of my candles. I have lots and lots of candles. So one of my favourite candles is the Seychelles candle from The White Company. Mine's very nearly run out and I also love any candle from From The Page. They do literary scented candles. In this basket I have pyjamas and then in the bottom one I keep my tops. Now on to the next door. I just hung up a piece of string and then I put some of my hair clips and headbands on here. And I'm sorry about the dogs barking downstairs. The dogs are barking because my dad just got back. Nope, they stopped. I think they stopped. <laughs> I've got all of my hanging clothes here and then underneath I've got a few like bigger candles which wouldn't fit there. I have so many candles it's actually quite bad I think. And my perfume and I've also got my jewellery box here. So my jewellery inside. And then on the <laughs> Final door. So there's a mirror on the inside and I've just put up a few little aesthetic prints on the bottom of the mirror. And I've got some uh, like thicker jumpers up here, skirts here, big collars here as well like the one I'm wearing today. Jumpers, shorts and trousers and then at the bottom this is where I keep all of my makeup. I've also got this basket where I keep all of my scrunchies and headbands. Also down here I've got this nice collection of candlesticks and in this tin I keep embroidery thread. So then on this wall I've got my calendar. This was a gift from my cousin Alfie. It's a woman who read calendar and every single month it's got a different painting of a woman reading. It's such a thoughtful present and I love it so much. And then I've also got this painting of a beach on the other side. Next I've got this scratch away map uh, which has been up in my room for like six or seven years so if you've watched any of my other room tours you would have seen it. And I have got my desk. I love my desk so so much. Um, it's this like curved shape um, so that you can move around the bed because the bed sticks out quite a lot as you can see. And there's a little ledge at the bottom too uh, which is in the same shape. On my desk I just keep my laptop and obviously I've always got some tea. 
biggest essential. I changed out my chair for an armchair recently. So I used to have this hard plastic chair which gave me bruises on my feet. This has been such a big uh, like game changer for me when working. I've realised since getting it how important having a comfy chair is and an armchair is actually a very good desk chair. This is just an overview of my windowsill. I've got this lovely ornament of a mother and daughter. This is very nice hand sanitizer. And then I've got this bust pot from Anthropology and also my candlestick snuffer, which is an absolute essential, of course. Here is my current mood board on my wall. I like to keep some nice aesthetic photos above my desk. At the moment, it's got kind of a cottage core feel to it, I think. So then this is my other windowsill. I um, love the windows so much in my room. The rustic handles, like the brass handles on these, and also the curtain rail, as you can see. This is my favourite photo of my sister and I, so I've just got it framed. I've got this bust from Anthropology, which I don't actually, I don't know what to store in it, I don't keep anything in it, but I think it might be quite nice to put some flowers in. And then behind, this is where I keep letters that I need to apply to, or that I need to send. Then here I've got this stool, which was my mum's, as she very kindly let me put it in my bedroom. I don't tend to use this for anything in particular, but sometimes I might like throw my outfit of the day for the next day on there or um, put some tea on there or something. And then here we've got my bookshelf. I love my bookshelf so much. I kind of go between like my desk and my bookshelf as being the best bit of my room, like the thing I like most. At the moment, I'd probably say it's my bookshelf. One thing I actually have added recently is an extra shelf of sorts on the top. And right at the end, you can see I've got this old, vintage, um, what are they called? Megaphone? I actually got this when I passed my 11 plus from my parents because I wanted to be a director. I just think it's such a cool like memory to have up there and it also looks very nice. And then finally we've got my bed here. So my bed is actually very, very modern. I don't think my room's that modern, but my bed is. It's got this nice like white plastic headboard and then above my bed I have two paintings, this one of a willow tree and this Sorry. one of a raven. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.